Okay, we'll open our meeting. Please stand for the Pledge to Our Flag. If I could ask uh, Board Member Crawford to lead us in our pledge. I pledge allegiance to, to, to the flag of the United, United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please remain standing. I'm going to ask Reverend Carl Flagg from Mount Tabor First Baptist Church to lead us in our invocation. Gladly. Good morning to each of you all and happy Good Thanksgiving. Morning. Let us speak with God. Heavenly Father, we bow our heads and humble our hearts before you on this Tuesday morning for this reorganization meeting. Lord, we first of all thank you for being God and being God's sovereign all over this universe. Lord, we especially thank you for board members Crawford, McInnes, Buckles, Pickens, and Gilliard. Thank we thank you for our superintendent and all of the administrative staff. Thank you, Lord, for Attorney Douglas. We ask you, dear God, to be with them every step of the way along this journey. Yes. Bless them as our legislators for education and excellence in education in this, our community. Heavenly Father, let them be collectively filled with wisdom and knowledge and understanding and grant them serenity and courage and diplomacy. Bless them to be filled with your grace and your mercy as they represent us not only in our county, but in our state and in our nation. Bless, dear God, every administrator within this district, every instructor, every counselor, all of the support staff, Lord, those who are in food service and bus services and whatever area of discipline within our county, help them to work as a cohesive unit, dear God, that will create an environment in Putnam County that is second to none for the education of our students. Our future, Lord, depends upon our educators and our students and our parents and our stakeholders all working together with a harmonic balance. We're believing and receiving and trusting you that even as these new incoming board members get acclimated to the process and procedures of this board, dear Lord, that all of them will have one thing in mind, and that's making Putnam County School District second to none throughout this nation. Bless us all and may we all enjoy our families and may we all enjoy the holiday season. In Christ's name we pray, amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Flagg. Thank you, maybe you seated. This is the one time out of the year, actually it's been more than one time out of the year I've had the chance to have the gavel, so I'm gonna take advantage of it and just, <laughs> just do your thing. Put it down. I do want to make a couple of comments. I want to personally uh, congratulate uh, Mrs. Pickens and Mr. McGinnis for their uh, election to the board. I look forward to the next four years working with you. And uh, hopefully I'm around. But if not, I <laughs> welcome you for the next four years. And uh, I'm sure we're going to have a lot of success along the way. I do want to share just a 10 second story with you. I was in a meeting a couple of weeks ago down in South Florida and I met with a number of superintendents from all over the nation. And uh, I think I was the only one from Florida there, and they thought I was some kind of like freak or something because I was the only elected superintendent out of 70 people there. Yeah. And you know, Florida is one of the few states that has elected superintendents. And in Florida, out of our 67 districts, I think, I think we still have 46 districts that elect superintendents. But the reason I bring that up is it creates a different relationship between the superintendent and the board from what is the norm around the nation. And normally, superintendents around the nation are, um, you know, they have to run for election every other Tuesday with their board. You know, they have to keep at least the majority happy. So that's quite a task. And I don't have to, I, I do that every four years. I'm, I'm going to try my best to keep you happy. But we do have, sometimes we, um, we can have differing priorities, if, if I can say that. And uh, last, this past year, we had some challenges and that type of thing. But... I think if we all work together, you know, it's all about the kids, and we're we're moving together, even though we might have different ways of getting there, but we are going to continue to put out priorities that we feel are important <coughs> as far as our administration. And two weeks from today, we're actually going to come and do a presentation for you that talks about some of our progress we've made in the past year, and we're we're going to have our state of the district presentation. And we're also going to talk about what are some priorities and some initiatives we're going to look forward to this year. 
So this will give you an opportunity to see, you know, what are some things that we would like to accomplish for the coming year, and we want you to be a part of that. And we need your help and need your guidance because the decisions you make every two weeks is going to chart the course for our district for years to come. And um, anyway, I, I definitely look forward to it. Uh, just to remind you, we are going to have a board member orientation um, on December the 3rd. That will be the day before the next board meeting, 830 in this very room. And we will, especially new board members, we're going to try to not overwhelm you, but there will be a lot of information and a lot of question and answer time. And we want you to feel acclimated. And it, it will be a learning and growing process, but we'll have a lot of our staff here to provide you information. And we have people here anytime you can contact us if you do have a question. And I'll so. provide breakfast. Right. Ooh. That's the best part. <laughs> so without any further ado, uh, I'm going to, if you look at your agenda for number one, uh, first order of business is electing a chairperson for this board. And at this time, I will entertain nominations for chairman of the school board, Putnam County. Mr. Chair, Mr. Superintendent, I would like to nominate Sandra Gilliard. Okay. I have a nomination for Sandra Gilliard. Is there a second? I second that nomination. Okay. We have a, a motion <laughs> and a second. And any discussion on the motion? What, what? Uh. Better hear from her because she's making faces at me. You can do it. You can do it. We will help you. And we, and by the way, just an order of uh, business, we do vote on each nomination one at a time, mm -hmm. and it will, it will require a majority vote to uh, confirm the chairman. You are among so, friends. So uh, at this time, I will ask if you are in favor of the motion for uh, Ms. Sandy Gayard to be our chairperson, please say aye. 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 Any opposed to that, please, same sign. All right. Miss Sandy Gilliard is a new chairperson of the Putnam County School Board. By unanimous vote, and I will pass the gavel. Y'all need to switch seats, please. Bud or, or me? No, you and Sandy. Okay. Yes, ma'am, Miss Crawford. Well, I can still tell you what to do. I know you always have. Congratulations, Miss Gilliard. Thank you, sir. Do we? We don't have to be in. You don't want me to do order, do we? Okay. Ask your ask your board attorney that one. Oh, yeah, it does not have to be by district number. Okay. Oh, you want your cushion? Congratulations, Sandy. Thank you, bud. Your cushion. The farther away you give me my cushion, <laughs> the less trouble I'll get in. <laughs> you might just be given an order. No, yeah. Yeah. Miss <laughs> Gayard, we have Reverend Flag here if he needs to bless that seat. <laughs> <laughs> He will. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, switch right, your name, switch your name place. <laughs> if anybody gets angry at the chairman, blame me. I have a lot of confidence. Okay. Well, the first thing I'm going to say is, and this wasn't the way that it was supposed to go, but <laughs> we're going to take whatever it is and, and just move forward. And, and I want to thank each of you for trusting me enough and pledging your support. And David Buckles, I'll see you afterwards. But <laughs> anyway, uh, I will be a work in progress, a diamond in the rough, but I will do my best to serve as the chairman of uh, the Putnam County School District School Board and uh, as already has been voiced on my left Holly we just want to welcome you Holly has touched my family in that uh, she's my niece's coach and will always be her coach and is a personal friend of the family welcome aboard and to Bud I've known you since I moved out in the West Putnam area as an administrator you and Alice have always looked out for me and taken good care of me and allowed me to work with your son, Evan. And so with that being said, and of course, Charlie was one of my fifth grade students at Kelly Smith. 
I haven't been around as long as Jane, but I'm <gasps> as old as oh. Jane. <laughs> she is older than me. I just want to make that. I said that. I said that. Taught me well when I was in elementary school. She was a great teacher. I've just taught everybody, haven't I? <laughs> okay, and with that being said, uh, to all of the district employees, those that work here in this building, that serve in your various capacities to help move this district forward. You've been doing some great things and we pledge our support as a board and we're just going to give it our best shot, as Holly said today. We're going to do the best job that we can do. We do realize that we may not get it right all the time, but we will do our best to rectify the wrongs that we do and apologize for the mistakes that we make and move forward. Again, thank you to each of you. As I look at your faces, I think of the things you do for us. Okay, at this time, our agenda calls for the election of a vice chair. I would like to nominate David Buckles as our vice chair. I'll second. All right, it's been motion and second that David Buckles serve as our vice chair. All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. Aye. Opposes, same sign. Hearing none, David Buckles is our vice chairperson. I will do everything chairman. I can to assist the chairman. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All right. At this time, we have had the opportunity to look over the proposed dates of our meetings and the times and the places will look like they will all be here at the office. Uh, what's your pleasure? Um, I just want to mention too, Sandy, that we talked about going ahead and putting 3.30 down as the November 19th meeting time. Since it is not an election year, we won't need to have an early meeting. Okay. If that pleases the board. Put down what time? 3.30, 3.30 for the last the meeting, meeting on the list. I got you. Okay, do we need to put that to a vote? It needs to be in the motion. So I make a motion okay. that we accept the dates and times for the school board meetings with the addition of adding 3.30 to the November 19th meeting. I second that motion. All right, it's been moved and second. All in favor, let it be known by the word aye. 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 Opposes, same sign. Hearing none, 3.30 will be our meeting time for our November 19th, 2019 board meeting. And we'll accept the other. Yes, and all the others, okay? And we did, by the way, um, acknowledge your request to have four night meetings. Yes. And those are like once a quarter. So I just want to note that we did. Um, Let's try to get that out to the public as much as we can. Yes. And the marquee tapes, I mean, yes. does an yes. excellent job. So, because sometimes I have to ride by and see what time and when. <laughs> okay, so it's all good. All right. The next item on the agenda the appointment of a board member to serve as the board's representative on the small school district council. I just want to say something. Um, I think that's one of, uh, one of the committees that is, it would be good for a new board member. Uh, a new board member named Bud McKinnis, um, <laughs> because it's easy. I mean, and um, it's it's a good way to get to know some of the other um, board members from around our um, small school districts, rural districts. I think occasionally they have meetings in St. Augustine. Um, you know, if you've got other obligations, okay, it's okay. But um, we would need a motion. I, I was just saying that. So I'm going to nominate Bud. If Let, he is, as a point of order, pardon for interrupting, is it? Or do we even have case, to vote? Yeah. Well, is it not the case? Is the board chair supposed to be the automatic um, representative there? Or no. Is it, not? Mm -mm. Okay, I just want to make sure. No. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. So I'd like to nominate Bud McKinnis if he's willing to serve on the small any, district. Any other nominees? Small school district council. I second it. All right. It's been moved and seconded that. Mr. Bud McInnes will serve as the representative for the small school district council to represent Putnam County. All in favor? Aye. That'd be number I. Aye. Aye. Opposes? Same sign. Hearing none. Mr. McInnes, you will represent us. The Our first next meeting will be on November 29th, which is next week. Yeah, when we're down at. Yeah. So. Is that the breakfast that's meeting? That's the breakfast. Yeah. But 
The, oh, look at you. There will man. be an agenda, so you need to look at the Good agenda. And, be ready. And, we're, and we may come in there with you, so who knows? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we, we have members that will guide you prayerfully in the right direction, but it, it's all good. Our next item is the appointment of a board member to serve as representative on the district insurance committee. I also have something I would like to say about this one in my nomination of Holly Pickens to be on our insurance committee. Um, she has been attending the meetings and several uh, standing members, sitting members of the insurance committee um, I think would very much appreciate if Holly was our representative to the insurance committee if she is willing. So I make a motion in I that. I second that motion. Okay. And any other nominations? Hearing none, all in favor of adopting, I mean, of uh, accepting Mrs. Pickens as our representative on the insurance committee, let it be known by the word I. Aye. 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 Opposes, same sign. Ayes have it. Holly Pickens will serve as our insurance committee representative. Next, appointment of a board member to serve as the board's representative on the expulsion committee. David, are you still interested? I'll, I'll be happy to do that, but there may be times when I have to call and ask somebody else to attend like that. And I will okay. serve Whatever, for you. Uh, <laughs> my granddaughter did get a nice 10 point this week. I know. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I make a motion that David Buckles be our representative to the expulsion hearing committee. Do we get a second? I'll second. All right properly moved and second that David Buckles will serve as our expulsion committee representative. All in favor, let it be known by aye. 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 Opposes, same sign. David Buckles serves. Now we will have the appointment of a board member to serve as a representative on the calendar committee. Madam Chair, I'd like to make a motion that that we nominate Ms. Crawford since her itinerary takes her out of state on many many numerous occasions and uh what does that have to do with the price of eggs anyway she'll that'll save her having to alter our schedule continually throughout the year (laughs) oh i see what you're saying i can you're fine okay do we get a second i second it all right all in favor if i was willing to do that okay all in favor (laughs) of Um, Jane Crawford serving as our representative on the calendar committee. Let it be known by sign I. Aye. 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 Opposes, same sign. Hearing none, Jane Crawford serves as the calendar committee representative for the board. Our next appointment will be a board member and one citizen to serve as board's representative on the Putnam County Value Adjustment Board. I would like to... Um that board it's that the way that thing is meets is really weird sandy was is our nominee for it she wants to continue and I, they don't meet that often i mean and you enjoy that uh would you be willing to serve again on the value adjustment yes board? i would i make a motion that sandy gilliard be our um board representative um on the value adjustment board i second it all right it's been well I need to call and see if there are any other nominations if none it's been moved and second that I would serve continue to serve as the Putnam County Value Adjustment Board representative for the school district okay so all, go ahead okay all in favor let it be known by the sign I aye. 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 opposes same sign eyes have it I will serve okay so Judd um, you think he would be Judd Newfeld has all, as long as I've been on the board, Judd's been our citizen uh, on the advisory. So would you check with him? Do we have to vote on it, Charlie? I would go ahead and vote on it. Okay. okay. I make a motion that Judd Newfeld serve as our um, citizen representative on the value adjustment Second. board. All right. Are there any other nominations? All right. So it's been properly moved and second that Mr. Newfeld continue to serve as our citizen representative. All in favor, let it be known by aye. Aye. Opposes, same sign. Okay. All right, our next appointment will be for a board member to serve as St. John's River State College Adult Education Advisory Board representative. Do we have any? 
Okay. All right. Mrs. Did Jorgensen initially served. I would think that, that uh, someone with a background, I, I know Ms. Crawford felt uncomfortable because she part-time works out there, but uh, she... I mean, as long as it, nobody has any objection to it, I'm fine with it. Well, Charlie, do you don't see any uh, conflict with that, do you? I do not. Okay. I would like to make a motion that Ms. Crawford be the representative to serve on the St. John's River College All Adult education advisory board that is one of our critical roles as we move forward uh, into our partnership with st john's river state college for the adults of putnam county okay any other nominations hearing none it's been moved and second that Who we seconded it oh we didn't get a second i a apologize second. all right it's been moved and second by mr mcinnis that jane crawford will serve as the St. John's River State College Adult Education Advisory Board representative for the school board. All in favor, let it be known by sign aye. 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 Opposes, same sign. Okay, Jane Crawford will serve. Our final appointment will be for a board member to serve as a representative, and we will also need an alternate on the FSBA Legislative Committee. Floor is open now for nominations. Well, I, I know that I'm not comfortable doing that. <laughs> if if any David's done it in the past, and uh, he's I don't mind to continue, but very if, comfortable. If anybody else want to do it? I'm glad for them to do it because uh, Superintendent and I are going to continue to work anyway on legislative issues. We we've, we've been talking even yesterday about some in the last few days, so it's things that I can't discuss with you guys but unless we're in session so I'll do whatever you want to do or somebody somebody would probably enjoy it but I'm gonna be around anyway doing this um, okay well it I does call for an alternate so okay. we will be able to you know nominate someone as well okay this says it's with FSBA mm -hmm. do they meet at different times during the year and you go to those meetings they, David they give updates and stuff and they just a phone call away that no we only meet normally at the board meetings the board you mean when we go to Tampa when we go to, when we go to the, the, the bigger meetings unless there's an emergency or when we go to Tallahassee they'll notify you We'll build an agenda of, of school board issues, but they normally get trashed when they get to the governor's okay. desk. So, uh, so do we vote on this and then vote on the alternate? It, I would it, think we would I do would, the I one would, first and then the alternate. I would think so. traditionally the FSBA stuff gets kicked down anyway, but the stuff that Rick and I and you guys work on uh, in, in lobbying, you know, are the stuff that really pays the money to us. The other is a broad general statement of education in the future in Florida, but those in power don't seem to uh, favor a lot about that. But that still, still doesn't mean you can't work and try. I mean, I'm, I'm just, I did that so long, it's, I'll be happy to do it. Okay, well, hearing um, Mr. Buckle's explanation of what is done there on the board, does your nomination still stand? I'll make stand? a motion that, yeah, David Buckle serve as our representative right. on the FSBA legislative committee do we get a second second okay it's been moved and second that david buckles will serve as our sb fsba legislative committee representative all in favor let it be known by the sign aye aye, aye. opposes same hearing none david buckles will serve as the representative now we need to uh elect a point rather uh, an alternate to serve. I think, would it be abnormal to ask if anyone wants to serve as right. the alternative? Better, Holly, are you interested? <laughs> I wouldn't mind. Okay. Great. I'll be happy to work with Bud. Unless I we make have a motion then that Bud McKin Gordon McKinnis is uh, <laughs> our alternate to the uh, FSBA Legislative Committee. I second. Okay, it's been moved and second that Mr. Bud McInnes will serve as the alternate on the FSBA Legislative Committee. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, opposed? Same sign. Mr. McInnes will serve as the alternate. Okay, all of our committees now are in place.
for the 2018-19 year. At this time, our agenda calls for the reports by the board members, our attorney, and our superintendent. So we'll start with board members, and we'll go to my extreme left, Mr. Buckles. I'm incredibly proud that Sandra Gilliard, uh, who I have served many years with in Putnam County, is our board chairman. I've watched her hold hands and pray with the parents of a, of a murdered child. I've watched her do things and, and help <coughs> kids through situations that are incredibly tough. And her heart and her, her, her whole being is for making our world a better place and are making our kids live better lives, helping them. And I would just like to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for being the chairman and being the person you are. Thank you. And as I'm far as uh, other comments, I can't say enough about Holly. She always kept me in line when she was a teacher, and I'm sure she'll be as, as rough on me as Jane is during most of these <laughs> meetings. Bud has always been a friend. I think my mother taught him in kindergarten. It's amazing how we go back and, and uh, it's, what's it's, right about it's really a thrill. It's and and uh, it, I, don't, I don't think you could have any better people that care anymore about kids, and I'm just really, really proud uh, to serve this this coming year and uh, as far as the uh, the expulsion committee those are not happy and fun things to be on but you see the letter we have in front of you uh, discipline uh, is a big issue with our teachers and staff and we're going to this year have to go back to work on it and it's not pleasant but if you got to start out tough and and then you can ease off a little bit and the kids will know what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate and and then the superintendent he has to govern not only that but he has to govern the adult behavior of the people who work with the kids so it's a hard process but i really welcome you guys to the board i'll answer any questions i can within the scope of the sunshine law and sandy i will help you in any way in these meetings so so thank good. you thank you for I'm your good. kind words all right this is Pickens. Well, um, as I said at the swearing-in ceremony, I'm very honored to um, have this position, and I love you, Jael. <laughs> I just looked out and saw her. Um, and uh, I, I just want to say how um, I will do my best, and we may not always agree, um, but I really, my whole career, have put students first and um, parents and employees are very important to me and that's how I'm going to continue. Um, I would also like to say, Ms. Gilliard, I have the utmost respect for her and I know she's going to do an excellent job as the chairman. Um, she's a wonderful, wonderful lady. Um, and then I'd like to say that I was extremely proud of the Crescent City Raiders um, last Friday night um, they came up a little bit short uh, of Hawthorne but um, what an excellent turnout of fans and former students and um, our boys fought the entire game they didn't give up and um, our coaches were coaching and really encouraging players it, it was just a really um, being from Crescent City and seeing 36 years of football, it really, really um, was a highlight for me to witness um, such a well-played game and such a well-coached game. And I, I look forward to this challenge, and thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Pickens. All right, Mr. McInnes. <laughs> well, I echo what Holly just said about the swearing in and um, just the fact that I'm on this side of the the camera um, usually I usually watch it on what the district provides the, um, the district channel it's a lot different being on this side I'll tell you that um, I'm looking forward to some of the holiday presentations in the school I can't say enough about the volunteers that this past weekend that transformed Interlochen High School Stadium to be um, what it is now if you haven't seen it's on the front page the Palak Daily News and um, there's a couple of fundraisers in Interlochen High. I can mention that. They're selling Christmas trees. Um, I know the FFA 
sponsor at Interlock and High went up personally and got the Christmas tree. So if you're in need of a Christmas tree, you want to see Miss Halk at Interlock and High School. And um, um, congratulate Ted Hangel, the new principal at Interlock and Elementary School. Thank you. I look forward to serving on the board. Thank you, Mr. McInnes. Mrs. Crawford? Well, I too would like to um, congratulate Sandy for um, <laughs> accepting the chairmanship. I know she <laughs> felt like she wasn't quite ready, but I know that she is. She will be a marvelous chairman, chairwoman. And um, she may go several years in a row. Who knows? She may, and and that's and that suits me fine. I hope she goes the whole, you know the whole four yeah. up. So I don't have to do it again. <laughs> but um, I'm I'm thrilled that Sandy is our chairperson. I would like to thank everyone. Um, I was too sworn in this morning um, for my second term, and I'm thrilled to, to be able to serve the students and teachers and employees of Putnam County. You know where my heart is, where it's always been. Um, for as, as long as I've been working in Putnam County, um, great things are happening here, and it's because of m many of you who are sitting out here in this audience and the leadership of our superintendent. Um, I, Bud took some words that I was going to say, but I'm going to repeat it. Gorgeous Christmas trees for sale at Interlochen High School. Jeannie Halk can help you with that. The new stadium, Bud and I were talking about it earlier, that was a job, and it looks fabulous. Um, that, that beautiful uh, ram, blue and white, really looks great. Um, I too, I've been talking with teachers at CL over turf um, about discipline issues and it is something, as Mr. Buckle said, we are going to have to address this year um, because it's not, it's not just at, in, at CELO, it's, it's everywhere and it's no one's fault, but it's something that we have to address because teachers have to be able to teach. That is what they are there for, and that is what we expect of them. But th when there are serious discipline issues in classrooms every day, they cannot do that. So I, I look forward to us workshopping whatever we need to do to address some of those issues. Um, and I think that's all I have. Thank you, Mrs. Crawford. Attorney Douglas. I just want to welcome the new board members, um, board member Pickens and McGinnis. Um, look forward to being at your service, and if there's anything I can do for you, uh, please let me know. I look forward to the um, the orientation and um, anything I was saying, uh, some about policies, uh, some about the sunshine okay. laws, uh, any other topics that you might have a particular interest in, please let me know, and I'll be um, happy to uh, provide that you then or cell phone in the future. <laughs> yeah, and, and I did email you both with uh, my cell number, so please okay, don't ever hesitate to uh, reach out anytime. Thank you. You have a report, Madam Chair? Uh, I have nothing. I, I think I said mine uh, initially. Again, I'm just humbled and, and honored, and I'm going to need your guidance and your prayers, but my whole heart will be to do the very best I can you're gonna, for this district. You're going to have that, and we're going to gonna teamwork you on this. And team. since I've said that, on tomorrow, I will be having a procedure done, uh, a biopsy. Uh, my faith helps me to claim that it's just going to be something that they need to do, but all is going to be well. And so for those of you that are connected, I need your prayers that all will go well. It will be at nine o'clock tomorrow, but it is well. Yeah. Um, we'll, 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 try to, yep. we'll get a hold of those who are connected and we'll be all talking. Right. All right. Just a few quick comments. Thanks to the Interlock and Rotary for painting the IHS Stadium. And uh, they, they've been very supportive. The uh, I went to the Crescent City game the other night, saw you there. Uh, I am a Hawthorne Hornet alumni. <laughs> uh, I sat on the house divided. Side. So uh, anyway, but my loyalty's with Putnam County. So. We know. But it's good to see our home folks, my old home over there, do well too. Uh, just remind about our Christmas parades. I'll be in all of them except maybe one. But if you get a chance, it'd be good to see you in our Christmas parades. I'll be out of town. Um, thanks to those of you who took part in our accreditation visits and. 
uh, meetings and all. And uh, we, we got a kind of an informal thumbs up from them, but we will get the official report later and, and we'll share that with you. But we have some good um, feelings about how that's going to turn out. I'm very proud to, uh, I mentioned on our radio show this morning, we, we sent a um, load to Gasson County yesterday of supplies that were taken up, donated for the students in Gasson County, which is next to Leon County. Uh, because of the hurricane Quincy. and yeah and actually we had um, a trip from some of our other people in the county the uh, state attorney's office sheriff's office clerk's office and the EOC sent 500 backpacks wow. to Gulf County and 500 to Gasson County and I was on the phone with their superintendent and I'll tell you they were just elated to receive that so thanks to everybody who had a part in that it's just good to see that you know we're a giving county and and we come to the aid of those people who are in need at this time the books that we've collected the children's books for calhoun county you know they had one of their elementary school libraries decimated so we've collected children's books and i believe in january we'll be transporting those out there to uh, awesome. calhoun county still collecting i'm sure yeah yeah okay so just see uh who's our contact susan gaborio is that correct so she's uh, coordinating that. And also, I just want to point out, we met with all of our principals last week for our quarterly reviews. And that is a process that we are really um, intent on to make sure they are working towards and meeting our um, school level goals as far as student achievement. And those goals are part of the process as part of our strategic plan that this board put together. And we have certain uh, milestones if you will that we expect to meet as a district each year and again when i ran two years ago my whole thing was we're going to move this district to the upper half of the state as far as rank goes and we are well on our way we've gone from 66 to 58 and our graduation rate is uh improving and hopefully as soon as that comes out any time now we'll announce that but we're projecting that to be over 80 percent from 54 percent just three years ago so we're making leaps and bounds and it's because of what this board is doing so um, thanks for your support and we'll keep moving in that direction but those principals are intent on making their schools rise to those level of expectations and we're going to hold them accountable so we're moving in the right direction but thanks to this board for everything you do and I look forward to your support renee huff could probably testify that i, I think by now a high school diploma or its equivalent will help anyone bring in a lifetime earning of 400 350 to 450 thousand dollars more than someone without one so that's that's a pretty good deal yeah have a lot to be proud of so a lot of work ahead there yep okay thank you madam chair is there anything else to come before the board no ma'am nothing else this meeting is adjourned